Hey YouTube subscribers and watchers, what's up? This is Anki from Slide Nerd, and welcome to Swift Tutorials for Beginners. Today we're going to talk about constants and variables. In this video, today we're going to learn about how to make constants and variables. Next, printing constants or variables on the playground. I'm also on Udemy, and you can search me for Ankur Deshpande on Udemy. Then you'll find the Swift tutorials in our playlist so you can come on the playlist in our home page and you can find them out here at swift tutorials for beginners so let's get started so let's understand how do you create variables and assign values then first you need to open your xcode so i'll write my xcode okay next you need to start your playground file i will not create a new playground file but i will use the old playground file the old files will be available in this particular panel so i can see my old playground file is test playground i'll open up out here and this is my test playground file. Let's understand first how to create variables. Let's take an example where you need to find percentage of marks scored by you in an examination. Let's assume that you have scored 450 and the total score was supposed to be 700. So let's find what is the percentage you have scored in this examination. Now it's very easy for us to understand and calculate but computer does not understand this. What you need to do is you need to assign this value 450 to a container which is nothing but a variable so let's make a container to place this value 450 into it so in swift what you do is you need to use the keyword var i'll say var and then the variable name the container name the container name in this case will be marks and i'll say equal to now next i go down and i know 700 is another container which is nothing but total container so let's make it and how do you do that that's right what you do is you write var and you write total and write equal to out here now if you put a space out here and if i go on to the next line immediately notice this particular warning coming out this warning is nothing but there is a syntactic error what swift is trying to tell you is that I cannot understand this particular equal to where is it appended so if you are using a space between the value and the operator and it's equal to operator you need to prepend it with an equal with a space also if you do that there is no error in the above case i have not used any space so that's why um, i don't get any error out here so please bear that in mind panel notice the value 700 out here it is dynamically showing what is the value at this moment for the variable total and similarly, what is the value for the variable marks at this particular time? So it's 450 and 700. When I hover the mouse on this particular result panel, you will see two different icons. So let's have a quick look at what these icons actually do. The eye icon will give you the quick look at the dynamic value at this particular moment. So in this case, the value is 700. This is a useful part when you want to debug a particular for loop or a do while loop. It makes sense using them. Next is nothing but a plus sign. Now let's see what does this do. It's actually going to show you the result dynamically uh, at that instance itself. So when I click on this particular plus, it shows me the value for this particular variable at that instance. So both of them are doing the same usage, but so both of them are doing the same function, but the usage of these particular uh, particular symbols are a bit different. So let's proceed ahead and finding our uh, percentage. So now to find a percentage, I need another container or a variable which will hold the value of percentage. So what I'm going to do is I am going to say var percentage equal to now what I, this is basic, basic arithmetic. Now this is basic arithmetic. What you need to do is you need to divide the marks with the total marks and then multiply it by 100. So I'm going to do that. You can either do it in this way saying 450 divided by 700 wrap that into a bracket and then i say multiply by 100 and i say enter so let's understand why did we get the zero in this case in computer in computer sense now by default computer will assign lesser memory to a variable the least memory is available in the byte bit and it goes in the, ascend, in, in the ascending order. Now we are assigning an integer in this case. By default, the computer will take it as integer. Now whenever you divide an integer with an integer, the resultant is an integer which is why the zero is only available out here. Now 
if I mention this as a floating point that is a decimal character immediately see the result changes and it is now telling okay I am dividing a floating point with an integer and now dynamically it is assigning the value as a float and which is going into the percentage but make just keep one thing in point swift does not dynamically assign float by default any decimal value is a double if you don't understand this at this particular time don't worry about it i'll be getting into details shortly so let's take another example and understand how to assign variables uh, in for detail so i'll just take this off and I'll assign now two new variables. Let's say I have a variable called radius. And I have another variable which is called as pi. Now, since there's a bunch of variables, I'm going to name it as var, the keyword, space, radius. And I'm going to assign a value to it that will be equal to, let's say, 4. Assign the value of pi that is 3.14. Now we all know that pi is nothing but a constant. So let's see how you define constants in Swift. Define constants in Swift, we make use of the keyword let. Now let's understand the difference between a constant and a variable. Now let's say I have another variable which I say is area. So to assign a variable, I'm going to write var as a keyword and an area. And I say it is equal to let's say 400 now if I go down and I say no I don't want the area to be 400 I want my area to be equal to let's say 500 do that and I press enter okay now I have area equal to 500 and over here I have area and equal to 400 let's let's see if it's dynamically changing again or not so I can write area as equal to let's say 1000 and there you go boom I have area equal to 1000 so notice whenever you are defining as a variable, the particular value is going to be a variable. That means it can dynamically change. Now let's assign a new value to our constant pi. Let's see what happens out here. So I will say pi equal to, let's say it is 4.5 and I press enter. Notice it is not taking the value as 4.5. It is still assuming or it is still keeping the value as 3.14. So let's understand what exactly is a constant in Swift. A constant is nothing but a value which will never change in the course of the program. Now, by defining the keyword let before the variable name, or in this case, I'll say constants name, the value of pi will never dynamically change in any of the process or any of the part in the program. So if I write out here one more time, let's say pi equals to, let's say 10.456. So, and I say enter. Now, note one more thing, the pi value will not be changing because it will pop an error. Let's say what the error is. It says cannot assign to let because let by default will take only one value during initialization and after that you cannot change the value of the variable that is a constant. So that is what is a constant in Swift. So let's recap as to what we have done till now. We have learned how to declare a variable and use a variable. We have also learned how to declare a constant and use a constant so that is it for today if you like what you saw please like the video share the video and comment and do not forget to subscribe to slide nerd you can also find me on udemy and you can search me for ankush deshpande you can also find us on twitter and you can search on google called slide nerd twitter we are also there on facebook and you can search in google as slide nerd facebook and we all the codes of this upcoming series will be available on the github and you can google us as slide nerd github all right folks that's all for today thanks for watching